Are you experiencing disappointment, depression, backwardness, stagnation, frustration, bad dreams, hatred, marital problems, poverty, or sicknesses? Or are you under a spell? Be of good cheer, for Christ has overcome the world. Visit us at House of Prayer Ministries for All Nations. The General Overseer, Prophet Shegun Adewumi, and our pastors are available at any of our branches to counsel, guide, and pray for you. For with Christ, all things are possible. With our messages, you can also develop yourself to face all spiritual challenges. For further inquiries, please reach us on the website www.hopmefan.org Facebook and YouTube House of Prayer Ministries for All Nations Twitter and Instagram at HopmeFans You can fellowship with us in any of our branches. Lagos House of Prayer Ministries for All Nations Situated at 91B Ishawo Road, Agric Bastop Owutu Ikurudu, Telephone 080-338-9827 or at our headquarters House of Prayer Ministries for All Nations, opposite CAC Grammar School, Ondo Road, Agure, Ondo State, Nigeria. Telephone 0803 858 3154. The Lord Jesus is waiting to meet with you. God bless you as you listen to me. My name is Prophet Shegwa Dewumi from the House of Prayer Ministries for All Nations. Today, I'm going to tell you the benefit of helping others. When you help other people, what is the benefit that you derive from it? So people are even saying that it is wrong to give arms. That is very, very untrue. The Bible doesn't tell us that. The Bible tells us of the benefit. The one you do, you go about praying and fasting. You see, you have a better fasting in helping others, in giving arms. In seeing those who can help, you are a better person to help them. So we are going to have a Bible study in Psalm 41. And you see why you must help others in order to succeed in your prayer. Psalm 41 is telling us this. Let me read it to you. Let me start again. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. So if you are in a trouble, and you have helped the people, the poor, or you are helping the poor as you are in trouble, then be sure that God will take you out of it. So the first thing you get is that you are blessed. The second is that you'll be kept out of trouble. Let me see verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall bless him upon the earth, and thou will not deliver him into the will of this enemy. You can see? So it now says, God will deliver you from the enemy, from trouble, from anything that is negative and keep you alive. You can see if you bless people. So let us go ahead to verse 3. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Thou will make, take him out of the bed of sickness. So when you are sick, sickness will not be bodily sickness alone in any form that will have challenges. God will not leave you. Because you are helping the poor. So, and in verse 4, I said, The Lord be merciful to me, for my sinner. So, when you are helping people, the mercy of God will take away your sin. And in verse 5, My enemies speak evil of me. You, you, you are vulnerable to that if you do good. Even in the church you attend, if you decide to stand by the truth, people will hate you because it's a human congregation. And that is what is common in human congregation. When the people will be expecting you to fall, they are asking in verse 5, The enemy speak evil of me. When shall he die? And his name will perish. That's what they think of us. But God will not leave us. In verse 6, And if I come to see me, he speaks vanity. His heart gathered iniquity to itself. Where he goes abroad. So, all those people that are making jets and mocking you, they will be put to shame. That you are good to people doesn't mean that they are going to honor you. The Socrates says, the most hated man or person on earth is the one that speaks the truth. If you're on the side of the truth, don't think people will like you. You are a misnomer. You are, you are not part of the, you are a misfit in the congregation of the present who marries. Now, unable to cease, say, they cleared fast unto him, and now he lied dead, he shall not rise again. So they say it, you know, they will not expect us to rise again. Now let us see this very important thing. When you are doing things for the poor, then in verse 9, Yes, yeah, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, we did eat of my bread, had lifted up his heel against me. These are the common things that you find when you begin to help the poor. 
Uh, you want to be honest, you want to be open, people will hate you. So now, but there is a God that will never leave you to fall. So this man was praying, but God be merciful unto me in verse 10, that I may request them. I will have joy, glory over them. By this I know that thou favor me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. They will never triumph over you when you do this good thing that we are talking about. Now, brethren, I'm going to give you this prayer today. Let's say from verse 11, I knew that thou favors me because my enemy will not transform over me. Verse 12, and as for me, thou uphold me in that my integrity and set me before thy face forever. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen. I want to pray for you. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, those that listen to this message, and they have been fasting, they have been praying, they have been struggling, but they forgot to consider the poor. Now, enter into them. Let them know that that is the best fasting. The Bible says, all the faith, all the everything that you do, charity is at the top of it off. Without charity, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, you have done nothing. So now, I put it on you now that God will give you the spirit to help the poor. And when you are helping the poor, God will help you. May the grace of God be with you now forevermore. Amen. Visit us at House of Prayer Ministries for All Nations. The General Overseer, Prophet Shegun Adewumi, and our pastors are available at any of our branches to counsel, guide, and pray for you. For with Christ, all things are possible.